So in this video today, I, we're going a bit different. It's going to be a bit different because normally you come to this channel to see some tech stuff. So if you want to, you like to see tech stuff, this is probably not the video for you. It's going actually against tech. Um, for people who come for vlogs and just to chill out, just for entertainment, just for content, probably you might like watching this video. So my name is Naldo, and today we're going to change a flat tire. I'm going to tell you also how tech work against me, how technology work against me in this situation. Not technology's fault, more mine than technology, but you're going to see, right? So let's look at it. So the people who want to see rims and whatnot, keep it plugged. I'm going to show you inside of the tire shop, inside of the rim showroom. And yeah, other than that, people who just want to see a tire change, hey. You're welcome. Feel free to hit that like button. Um, as I say, there's no I do all the time. So, but still, if you want to continue viewing my videos, yeah, please subscribe. So, why I'm saying that technology worked against me in this situation. Is because in these cars the 2015 to 2018 model Prius C or Aqua they don't come with a spare tire so I got this flat last night and had to reach home which I ended up having to tow the car home right but I'll show you now what it comes with yeah we need road so I'll show you what it comes with and yes this technology it's new thinking but it worked against me because you see the type of rims and tires i have on because of the type of rims and tires i have on this mechanism that comes with the car won't help in this situation especially as i said because you see the tires actually leaving the rim because what i have is what we call what we call stance and it's a nine inch rim with uh 195 tire so it's kind of small, so once it loses the pressure, the tire is going to start to leave the rim. So this is the kit that comes in place of the spare tire. It's a pump with a fixer flat and normally you connect both of this to the rim and tire well, to the wheel and it will send this fluid here to find the hole and the pump will pump, pump back up the tire in this situation the entire tire came off the rim so that definitely won't have wood so when using rims like these you need to use a special spanner or a socket set, a socket here. Yeah. It's actually a socket that we use, right? Let me show you. Let me show you why. This won't fit. So you get a deep socket and a power handle. This is a 21 socket. Some of them is 19. Let me show you this goes in what I just did is what we call breaking the nut so you need to break the nut while the car is on the ground then you raise the car so you slack on the nut then you raise the car and then you finish, take out the nut, take off the wheel and go ahead and proceed. Oh yeah, where I'm getting a spear from, I'm going to borrow the spear from my wife's car.
if you may not be strong enough to balance the wheel in the air to adjust it look at the pattern of the bolts try to set up the pattern of the bolts on the spear like that then in when you're bolting up and when you're slacking in you do it in X's you do opposites so you do this one this one this one or this one but that's what you do you do it in opposites right so what you'll do is you ensure your rim is up straight up to the hub and then you tighten you tighten with your hands and when you put the car on the ground, you can tighten with the spanner, right? As far as you can tighten with your hands, steady. to find a tire shop and get well I'll have to buy a tire this tire I can't repair and yeah remember that spare tire is not to be left on the car for long periods of time it's just for you to reach to a tire shop and for the people who are interested in seeing rims and whatnot stay tuned